Hello, how's it going? So we are at This Museum Is Not Obsolete. And I'm doing this video today because it is now nearly back in season. Uh, basically nearly every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, from the weekend coming, which is April the 8th, Easter, until uh, the end of autumn, uh, it will be open. Check the dates over on the website if you're interested. There's a couple that it isn't, so check the calendar over there. Anyway, uh, quite a few things have changed. It's always a work in progress and it's always being built up. It's been open since it's the tail end of 2021 and yeah that's nearly a year and a half ago quite a bit has changed and there's always a lot of plans for the future but let's just have a look at what it looks like at the start of the season of 2023 however we're gonna do this look around with a little bit of help from this thing right here oh <laughs> oh my god what is this you ask well Dave, Nervous Squirrel, who made the Owl Organ. You may have seen him in some of my videos and stuff, and also just seen some of his amazing creations around. Anyway, Furby's alive. Well, Dave made this for me for a wedding present, and it is absolutely awesome. What we have here is a Furby helmet, of course. It's got rotating Furbies that rotate around your head. It's driven by a remote around the back. The chains go over to this. The Furbies are geared at a one-to-one -one ratio, so they always face forwards. Uh, I'll show you that with my hands right now. So as you spin it, you'll see the Furbies are always gonna face you. And from the top, as you see from the top, it rotates around this stationary gear that makes sure the Furbies are always gonna be facing ahead so they know what comes. How is this gonna help us with the 2023 tour of the museum? Well, you know these little microphones that I use, so I'll just take it off. Uh, they're these little Rode mics. The receiver's on top of the camera. You just turn them on and they automatically couple together. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a bit of Velcro. We're gonna stick them on there and we're gonna put these onto the bottom of the Furbies. I'm gonna have this one facing forwards. As you can hear, it's coming straight through. And then this one, hello, how are you doing? We're gonna have it facing backwards. I've got no idea how this is actually gonna work, by the way. Right, let's put this on and give it a go, shall we? Oh. Furby's woken up already. Sorry about the Furby, but that's just the way it goes. As you can see, the, the sound should be rotating around right now. By the way, there's a link below to Dave and the Squirrel's website below. I'm sure if you really wanted one, he would he'd be able to put one together for you. Anyway, let's turn it on. Let's slow down first. We'll go slow. We've got a Furby Leslie speaker on our head. We've got a Furby Leslie microphone on our head. We've got a Furby Leslie microphone on our head. We've got a Furby Leslie speaker on our head. We've got a Furby Leslie speaker on our head. I know it's not really like a Leslie speaker, but you get the idea. I wish that Furby would shut the heck up. We've got a Furby Leslie speaker on our head. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna try and reset that Furby, make it go to sleep, and then we're gonna have a tour around the museum. We'll wake him up a little bit halfway through. Right, let's start by turning on the visitor counter and uh, getting it to uh, do a visitor counter up. Oh no, I'm gonna visit a counter up it. One set, one set. I can't, now I've gotta try and fit in the reception with spinning Furbies on my head. Beautiful. Right, that's that one. Oh no, it's knocked off. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Okay, right, we're in. Now this is the first room. You go to see, we've got we've got a pheromone you can play on if you want. Oh, I still haven't learned how to play the pheromone very well. Slightly in the corner is the Furby organ. I've got a plan for this. I know it hasn't been alive for a good couple of years now, but I want to turn it into a Furby organ rank. So this is going to work with the organ. It's not going to take much fixing. I've just got to fix it and bolt it up to the organ. So that's when the organ's done, which will be, and we'll talk about that in a mo, we're going to put the Furbies onto the actual Furby organ. Right, anyway, let's carry on. Right, going around, there's other things to look at, but of course we've got the Mega Drone. Still going strong. Come on. Uh, there we go. So that was the uh, Mega Drone, so you can play on that and such. And then there's other things that are wired in around here, including Santa keyboard. 
Next to that is the display display. It's a display of displays. That's right, you've got Nixie tubes, you've got all the other things, you've got Decatrons. There's a few more coming. We've got some pretty big Nixie tubes. We're gonna shove in here and I've got it fixed and soldered. Hopefully this week I'm gonna do that. You'll notice there's a couple of empty spots at the bottom working on that. There used to be a bunch of Brawl and Cures, but you'll see the Brawl and Cures have moved. So we're gonna fill this. A few more light up things and funky displays. Next to that, going around there, there is a pre-2000s uh, 1930s telephone exchange. This is actually also wired into the main exchange, so you can call other external things. We'll do that in a sec. I'm just gonna pull it around here in a minute. Hopefully you can still hear the Furbies. I'm still trying to, trying to not knock anything over with the blooming Furbies. So yeah, of course you can use the exchange just to call the other phone that's on the other side. I think it's 265. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, hello, how's it going? But then you can also dial the other exchange over there. I think the external number you type in nine. Yeah, and it's over there. And I'm gonna try and dial another number. Let's see if I can get another phone to ring in the vicinity. Oh, oh. Oh, it's ringing over there. It's, it's over there, it's ringing over there. But I'm gonna put this down. So yeah, that's the 1930s exchange. Next to that, it's a nice uh, T1154 and an R1155. They're not wired in yet, but they've got such nice tactile feels. You would have found these in old aircraft, like the Havilland Mosquitoes and Lancaster Bombers. This one's a steel one, so it wasn't actually in an aircraft. The aircraft ones are made of aluminium and the ground ones are made of steel. Ooh. Carrying on the world, it's a side, man. It's still going strong. You've got this button and you push it on and it plays for 20 seconds, you get to have a look at it. Read a bit of the history, as long as, as well as play with a bunch of the other displays. And they all sound absolutely lovely. Continuing on, we end up coming out of that room and going into here, over this area. Over here we've got a bunch of other things. We've got a tape machine with a Tachyon's Plus for circuit bending the video. With a spectrograph and some LZX video going into this tape machine. I've just, I've just knocked it off, but there we go. There's a bunch of other things around here, including Omni chords and things that you can play on. And of course, one of the first DIY programmable synthesizers, the SWTPC Cytone, which is, which is pretty funky. It is a bit weird. Over here is a bunch of the other DIY magazine synthesizers. Later on, there's gonna be a room that's over there that all of the DIY synthesizers are gonna go into, so they're all together. But that'll be a little bit later on in the 2023 season, I think so. But, And you got the monophonic version, the Transcendent, which is still going. Gen SX 1000, couple of drum machines. Oh yeah, and some more funky noises. Ooh. Oh. oh my God, I've just dropped, oh, I've just hit the thing and I've just, just knocked over one of the microphones. I've got to turn this off and I've got to put it back on. Where's it from? It's from here. So yeah, going into this section, the Stroud Exchange, which is around here, is all still, still working as it should be. You can call whatever, you can even call that other 1930s exchange if you want to. But there's loads of other things, including Tecmo and things like that. If you've seen any of the videos on this channel or the museum channel, you know what this is wired into. There's a few of the DIY synthesizers here as well, including the Foreman which is still being synced by the master clock, which is over here. This is a control box for that. And then you got the DigiSound 80. Ooh. There's some more telecommunication displays with documentation if you want to read into it. And then carrying on, we're going to fix a bunch of stuff over here. Let's keep on going anyway. Let's keep on traveling. Coming out of that room, we end up going back into here. We've got the Owl Organ over here and we've got the Game Boy Mega Machine. If you aren't aware, the Owl Organ was made by the same guy that made this, Nervous Squirrel, Dave. And you can play it. You can change the species, of course. Lovely. And next to it, on the other side, we've got the uh, Game Boy Mega Machine. For some reason, the MIDI controller decided to stop working, so I've got to get that fixed in the next few days, but there will be on it, we'll be on it. So over here, there's a bunch more things you can play on, fart boxes. If you can hear that. There's the Pluby by Eric Brandel. Which is an analog synthesizer that you can interact with and see all this garbage on the inside. Of course, there's a bunch of other synthesizers, including the Korg SQ10, MS10, MS20, these are all wired in. But of course, 
course you can wire it in any way you want. We've got a brawl and care up and running. And some other drum machines and whatnot. Let's get that sounding. Got a couple of different modular synthesizers, including Cosmo, the voltage control Billy Bass. We've got a modular synthesizer here as well, that's a DIY one. In the middle, there's a few things with headphones, like this music from Outer Space Ultimate Expander. There's a couple of Arturias that you can jam on. So there's a few different displays and stuff. There's finally the Sega Mega Drive synthesizer you can play on. It's got headphones and you can mess around with the FM parameters inside of the game cartridge. Ooh! And then we spin around and we end up going into this room over here. Oh my god, I don't know whether I'm going to make it through this. Let's try it. Hey! Tap that one on the top. Inside here is a bunch of computers that have got music programs running. Remember that the Micro Museum is next door, which has got loads of retro computers and games consoles that are wired in so you can play games on them. But I figured it would be quite good for all of these to be running computer programs, different synthesizers and music programs throughout the era. Anyway, let's try and let's try and get a closer look. This room keeps on coming around. We've got synthesizers on Commodore Pets, Commodore 64s, we've got Game Boys. <laughs> Uh, Octomed on the Amiga. Over here we've got a Commodore 64. Lovely! And it carries on going down. There's a Macintosh Classic with Mac Drums, which is a drum machine. The BBC Micro, which is going to be running some music programs. We've got a drum machine on the Apple II. We've got a tracker on the Spectrum. We've got Rebirth on this old Macintosh OS 9. Oh! And it's going to... Oh! There's a Cubase setup down here and it keeps on going, but have a look for yourself. I've got to get out of here before I destroy anything with these Furbies. Let's get out of there and over into here. And then we continue to travel over here and this is the organ room. Now, am I going to make it through here? This is the test. Oh! <laughs> Past a few different master clocks we get to the organ. This room hasn't actually been open to anyone yet. The keyboard used to be sat in front of it because, uh, yeah, it's a bit too close. We've got these covers that are turning up to uh, kind of block it off so it's safe for people to come in here and have a jam on the organ. That's the project this week coming, is wiring in finally the stops to make it all work and sing nicely. Around the back of this, there's a few other things, including the Teletubby Tidal Wave, the uh, electromechanical regenerator musical instrument, things like that. Oh, and the Teletubby Tidal Wave. But yeah, let's, let's keep on going. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! Over in this part, I'm going to speed up the Furbies, I think they're slowly running out of batteries. Over in this part, we've got a bunch of other things that you can play on, including the Crypto Synthesizer, which is a synthesizer that takes its note data from the stock exchange. I did it with the Stephanie Explains It All, and you can have a listen. You've got have no real control except for the volumes of different stocks, but you can listen to it playing live in your head. There's a few circuit bent bits and bobs, there's a few games, things that you can play on. We carry on, there's Bordeaux Cosmo up there, which you can and call of course. Let's try and call it really quick. Oh, oh. So the Bordeaux Cosmo is up there and then you talk to it via this minicom and it's got a really dodgy 90s AI. That means you can have a conversation with it. There's a bunch of other things. There's a few nice ASMR things around it including the uh, big relay finger majoogie goop, finger magoop that's up here. There's more work in progress that's going on beyond this door including the uh, aforementioned DIY synthesizer setup as well as the brawling cares. There's a couple of rooms that keep on going so that's going to be a project as the season goes on. But yeah, I haven't touched on everything but as you can see there's plenty of things to do. Remember there's another museum next door so there's enough for a good old day out, I think, if you like this kind of stuff anyway. Totally do. So yeah, that's where this museum is not obsolete is at at the minute. There's lots of fun things to play on. And there's also, of course, the Micro Museum next door. So you can go to both of them. They're literally next door. I'm going to take this off now because it is giving me a right old headache. I hope the sound was reasonably all right. I don't want to listen back and it's just motor noises. Let's see what that's like. So anyway, that's it for this week. There's information on coming over here and open days and stuff on the website, which is there linked below. Anyway, I'm looking at my no computer. This is the Furby helmet. We're going to finish this off by bolting a GoPro onto this and having a quick tour of it. And then, yeah, I'll see you later. Have a good time. <laughs>